On Friday night, Bozeman dominated CMR 63 to 19, but the biggest story was the return of Montana State commit Kenneth Iden. One, two, three, pass. Let's go. It's like that missing piece of the puzzle. Once that comes back, everything's just everything's just there. You get the whole picture and everything just glows and clicks and it's just you know, it's good to have him back. He's he's a great player. I mean, the kid's a beast. The atmosphere around the Hawks before kickoff felt electric due to the addition of Iden, who has been out all year due to ankle surgery. They trust me and I trust them, and I think they were just super excited to see me back out there playing, and I was super excited to be playing for them again. And The senior captain was elected to represent the Hawks at the coin toss. And I was excited. You know, I've, I've been wanting to be a senior captain since middle school watching the Hawks play, and for me to get to do that on my first game back, I was super excited. Once the coin toss was won, Bozeman head coach Levi Weshi said they had a plan to get Iden out on the field right away. I have in your when your captain's back on the field is huge. So, you know, Kenny set the tone. That first place set the tone for the whole game. Like, our kids love that energy. You know, we deferred on purpose because we wanted that opportunity to see what Kenny was going to do for us. And he didn't let his coach down. On the first play of the game, Iden busted through the line to make the tackle for a loss. I just thought, um, I'm going to see how my ankle feels. I'm just going to go. And I was, I just happened to be in the right spot. But coach called a good play. We had slant on. And yeah, it just took me right there. And I just made the play. I didn't seem to be all over the field to start the game, but the Hawks are going to ease him back in. He's a difference maker, you know, and eventually as we can continue working him in, and we'd like to see him playing both ways again, you know, but right now just what he does for our defense is really important. He had 25 snaps tonight, and he, every snap, he made a huge difference on. So you got, when you have guys like that, you need them on the field, and obviously we're better when he's around, so. The Montana State commit will not be playing both ways for the Hawks until Weshi approves. As he continues to get closer to full, we'll start using him more. You know, right now my goal is not to play him on any offense till I'm comfortable with where his ankle's at because I feel like getting tackled, there's a lot of people down around your lower leg. After rehabbing his ankle for 11 weeks, Iden was just happy to be playing in his first game since he started last year's state championship win. Felt pretty good, yeah, I was super excited. You know, I, it's been a couple weeks now and, um, you know, I was really excited to get back with the guys. And I, that was my first game since last, what was it, November or something. So it felt really good to get back out there and, you know, make sure, you know, at least make sure for myself that I'm still playing well and uh, I can still do it. And, you know, it's, it was super exciting to get back out there. Lastly, for Bobcat fans, Iden is still pumped about his decision to stay home and play for Montana State University next season. It's awesome. It's sweet. I love the Cats. Um, Coach Stroud's awesome. I just talked to him earlier this week, and he's always been supportive. And it's just it's awesome to know I got them behind me. So. Hey, Bozeman, John Miller, MTN Sports.